missing, I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people, I pray I go I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. way. All right, well, we don't talk about a lot of things about you, Miss Blue, mm -hmm. but of course you're a rapper, and what we need to talk about along about getting to know you is your music. Yes. So with that being said, walk us through the life of Blue when it comes down to music. What? How does your songwriting or studio studio flow pop studio flow process go as far as music? Like, what does it take? How how it take? How do you make a song, basically? Um, now, well, I used to write a lot and shit. Used um, to? Yeah, I mean, I kind of do now, but I'm more freestyle. Okay. Um, but I used, I did used to write a lot, though, but being in the stool with niggas like Coop, though, I mean, like, this nigga in the Coop in the studio just going crazy, like, off three, top? four songs off the top. Damn. Off the fucking top, like, I'm, um, yeah. But he always told me though, like on some real shit, never lose the pen, cause he can't, he couldn't, he couldn't write no more. Like he could only rap like that. So I try to like, you know, still do a little more, but that freestyling shit though, I swear it's that. All right, bet. Um, when it comes down to freestyling and writing, which one you like better? I like, I like freestyling more. It's kind of like the same though. Mm. It's just on, on um, it's recorded. I mean, it's just like if you write some shit though, like you could write some shit and then go erase it. It's just like recording, you don't like that land, delete it. So right. it's kind of the same to me. All right, man. If we ever do a part two, remember this. But on to the music. Your favorite song that you made. My favorite song that you made. Yeah. I think spin that shit. Spin that shit? Cause that's like a forever move, like spin uh, that shit, like period. Like And for those who may want to look for this song, this is on all streaming platforms? Yeah, it's on all platforms. Blue. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Of course. Yeah. What's the hardest part about making a song to you? Probably having like a catchy hook or some shit like that, like some real catchy shit, probably. Okay. Uh, I Just having some catchy shit, like because I've been told, like when I when I first kind of started to slow it down, dumb it down, and then when I dumbed it down, it was like speed it back up. You know what I'm saying, like. Um, <laughs> So I just be fucking doing me like shit. I don't really give a fuck, but um, I just do what I feel with music. Like whatever I like, whatever I fuck with, I could just keep listening to over and over, get chills from type of shit. That's what I be fucking with. All right. Well, another thing about rap, that, since you mentioned Dumb It Down, that this is something that rappers are nowadays being categorized as. And that's called ABC rappers. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I personally don't know what the fuck this shit means. Do you know what it means? Yeah, like, um, I got a bat. You got a hat. Look at it. Look at the scat. We in the brag, like, kind of like ABC, kind of like, other than like, what's not ABC, uh, ABC rapper. It's like, well, fuck it, I use metaphors and shit like that. Um, all right. Really got meaning to what they saying type of shit. So as far as you, would you place yourself under that category or no? No, I'm not no ABC rapper. All right. <laughs> I'm not an ABC rapper. With that being said, <laughs> two questions. The first one, why do you not want to be under that category? Um, Cause it's basic, like, you know, that's, it's, 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 it's very basic and I don't rap basic shit I rap really sh like shit I really didn't been through or go through like this shit be real like for real um so yeah ain't no ABC about it you know With that being said is it okay to be an ABC rapper no it's not it's not 
But then again, I don't know. It'd be different because certain shit be getting motherfuckers on that be ABC. It just be depending on, like, the hook and the beat. You could really be saying anything. Like, you ain't even got to say shit on the track. Shit, if the, if the beat hard enough. Like, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Peaches and Edwin. Uh, you feel me? Like, he uh, on that bitch saying, boop, boop. But you can be lyrical and make a catchy song too, right? For sure. Alright. Now, do you listen to ABC Rappers at all? If I got to. If you got to. Alright, man. Like if it's playing, I ain't got no control over it type shit. But me typing it in on my phone, not really. Alright, man. Then with that being said, it says, who is your... Do you listen to rappers? Or, or Alright, man. Who is your top five rappers that you know for a fact are not ABC rappers that you listen to? Uh, men or women? Either or. I, I fuck with both men and women as far as the music side. Um, her, Dirk, Mellow. Um, that's three. That's three right there. Gotta put a girl in that too. Would you, like to, would you like to make it easier with 10? Shit, can I just say my guys is one? All right, anybody from 600? Team 600. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, damn, I'm really thinking like about Chicago rappers though. Like, uh, you can think about any rapper. Oh. Anybody Ooh, else? I'm yawning. But you can think about anybody in general. Lil Wayne, Jay Z. Lil Wayne, Jay Z. Got it. Got it. All right, all right, all right. That sounds like a nice little catalog. So with that being said, no one should disagree with this list, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now back to you. Since you're not an ABC rapper, what is one of the... Give me your top five hardest punchlines as of right now. To songs that's out or songs that you, that you, that's unreleased. Mm. Spin that shit. Uh... Punchline. Damn, it's so many in that bitch. It's okay, it's okay. Name as many as you want. It can be more than five if you want. Um, buy me up too flat. Fuck them Jordans. I'ma just keep promising you shit like force. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that over. Yeah, I'm about to say it. I don't think they heard that last punchline. Say it again. Okay, um, spin that shit. Bat me up too flat, fuck them Jordans. I'ma just keep promising you shit like foursomes. And I need that shit right now, not in no fucking morning. I need keys to everything, just like a warden. Mm. Um, spin that shit. Alright. Every day. No song every day. Alright, um, Pain from that block made me stronger. 59er, if I feel funny. They hop in our trucks like firefighters. Um, <laughs> period. All right. That's some shit right there. Um, let me think. What I could think about right now. Okay, my last song, Hold Fast. I said, um, BBL, baddest bitch living Hold Fast. You saving up, can't pay for shit to sit on. Shit said. Um, that's overall to me. All right. Damn, I just... Yeah, you can go on and on. I can for sure. Alright, alright. Say a lot of shit. Alright. Hard bars from the 59er. Period. Am I allowed to say that? For sure. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know me, I play too much. So alright. Well, with that being said, is there anything else in regards to your music that you want to put out there for anyone that want to know? Like any albums, EP, singles, or anything about your music in general? Um. My music is really for street bitches. Street bitches? Or bitches that's been through shit, been through sh the struggle. Bitches that look good, bitches that, you know what I'm saying? Um, know how to adapt to any situation. I got new music dropping, new videos dropping. Um, I'm working on a lot of new shit, so yeah. With that being said, Tune in. for all you kids out there that's listening to Blue, Ask your parents if you can listen to it first. Yeah. Hmm. But it's okay. One day you'll be old enough to listen. For sure. 
All right. Now time for another segment. And this is in regards to women, of course. And this segment is a deep one. I like to call it, Are Women Protected by Men? A common topic that comes up, especially on social media, is that men do not do enough to, or they don't at all protect women, particularly in the black community. Now, I can say at times, certain black men do not protect women. And by the way, I'm black. For those who like to say the Chicago wave is white, that shit is cap. I am a nigga. Like, but stop it's playing with Chicago me. Chicago shit. Yeah, for sure. But overall, I don't want to say that all men don't protect black women because I'm, I'm a man myself. I would, if I could protect a black woman or any woman in general, I would do so. You better. But that's just me speaking for me. I can't speak for exactly everybody. But I, but I know for sure that not all black men do not not do their best to, to protect black women. But this is about y'all. In regards to women, in regards to the act of violence, discrimination, or anything else that's happening to them, my question to you is, as a black woman, do you feel protected by black men? Yes. Yeah, the black men I know, for sure. The black men you know. <laughs> but, but overall, in general. Overall, in the whole, like, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've had situations where strangers, like, chimed in mm -hmm. that were men type shit, so, yeah, for sure. All right. And then with that being said, what do you feel like us as black men need to do, and I'm not including myself, by the way, but us as black men need to do better in order to do better for black women like yourself? Um, if there's anything we can do better. Just like respect women more, but women got to give respect themselves more too because right, it'd be hard. Ready. Yeah, it'd be hard for men to to do certain shit over females they don't respect or they don't have no respect for themselves. So, like, you know? All right. And speaking for respect for themselves, another segment. And this one is called, I like to call, the OnlyFans segment. Respect or doing what you have to do. Now, remember how I was bringing up stereotypes and shit, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes down to women, for a long time, they have been discriminated by society, and sometimes even women themselves, that they are often told that if they can't apply themselves to something that's respectable, they would have to use their looks and or their bodies to get them to where they want to be. But nowadays, it's only for the money, which from what women have said. However, people don't understand that this is nothing but the struggles and stereotypes that women often face growing up every day. Like, women literally grow... I'm not a woman, so I can't speak for women, but right. to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure at, at like how men have to grow up knowing X, Y, and Z and how it's going to be in the real world, sure. women have to grow up the same way. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm pretty sure you understand very well as a woman who's fully grown yourself. Mm -hmm. So, my question to you is, do you feel like if a woman has absolutely no choice and have to go down the path of strippers, or anything else that downgrade them, is it okay if it's only for final financial reasons? Yes or no? Yeah, it's okay. Them shit, they shit getting it out the mud. They hustle. That's their business. Okay. And even though it's their business, which, which this is something still that needs to be talked about and thought about, since the answer is yes, why is that even an option for women though? Because Women do not want to be labeled in those categories as in like a hoe or a thot or a stripper or a bitch that's going to do it all for money and all type of shit. But it's only, it's a hustle and they feel like this is what they would have to do because they have no other choice. Some women like fast money. Like how niggas like fast money might be doing shit. Illegal with some shit. Some women be like that too. Agreed. And it be shit. It, it might be, I could make this much hood dancing, but I'm going to go work a job and like, shit, I'm going to go dance. That's shit. Mm -hmm. That's their cup of tea. They ain't wrong as long as the outcome income. Shit. As long as the outcome in, outcome income. For sure. So as far as mentally, like, if, if they can keep this mindset, they'll be good? I mean, um... Anything, I, I feel like if a motherfucker is doing anything what they gotta do when it's necessary, 
long as you can overcome that shit, like, and be better in the end, like, you have to do what you gotta do to get where you at. But as long as, like, damn, now I, I made all the money, now let me go start a business, now let me do something legit or something that's better for me if I feel a certain way. But if you feel like you don't feel no way about that shit, you wanna dance, you like being down there, you like doing that shit, keep doing that shit. Ain't nobody tell you what the fuck to do or how to feel about it. You making money shit. It's, 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 it's less than a motherfucker could say that's broke. And overall, this doesn't apply to you, but you're still just speaking for on the behalf of women, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So overall, that you know what that said that I don't even gotta break it down. Yeah. All right, and that goes to the next question. It, the next segment, and this one also pertains to women. Mm-hmm. Rap about sex or drill. Now this is something that will not be 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 forgotten about in regards to women, and never ever not be talked about. So we're gonna. Talk-